Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, autumn weather at its best. Now, granted, it was 10 degrees cooler this afternoon compared to yesterday, but you know, still pretty nice. Take a look at the numbers, including 55, the high temp today in Providence, low and mid 50s along the South Shore, Smithfield 54, as well as New Bedford and Taunton. Similar temperatures coming up for tomorrow before things really start to cool off around this time tomorrow evening and into at least the front part of the upcoming weekend. Skies are clear in Newport right now. Temperatures in the 50s, so a nice evening. In Warwick right now, clear to partly cloudy. Temperature coming in at 50 will gradually cool uh, through the 40s during the uh, early evening hours. A satellite and radar composite is showing a few patchy clouds to our north coming through, but essentially dry weather, so not anticipating any precipitation. Here's the wider view. Now, I'm tracking a cold front uh, through the Great Lakes. Now, this arrives tomorrow afternoon. Now, normally a front would bring some scattered showers, but there's really not a lot of moisture for this to work with. So, as it comes through tomorrow afternoon, it may scare up a sprinkle here and there, but essentially Veterans Day Friday is windy and dry. And eventually this front does usher in much colder weather come Friday night and especially the first half of the weekend. In the meantime, good chunk of the northeast right now is fairly mild and temperatures tomorrow afternoon, early afternoon should be pleasant before things start to cool off. We'll walk you through it hour by hour starting off this evening. Skies are clear, temperatures dropping through the upper 40s. I mean, cool tonight, not extremely cold. In fact, we'll stay well above freezing. 7 o'clock tomorrow Tomorrow morning, waking up to sunshine and a temperature at 48. Skies becoming partly sunny for a short time tomorrow afternoon. 2 o'clock in the afternoon, mid-50s. Little blip of green. Some spots may see a little five-minute sprinkle, if that. But essentially just windy and dry. But the temperature really starts to drop off by a late day and especially by uh, early tomorrow evening. Friday evening, it is clear, but the temperature is falling through the upper 30s to around 40. So for tomorrow morning, Veterans Day Friday morning, temperature in the mid-50s, partly sunny skies and windy and then during the afternoon hours I mean a pretty nice day on the gusty side but otherwise dry slight chance of a brief sprinkle. I think uh, Veterans Day services and parades for the most part it looks dry. Temperatures really start to cool off though by late day so certainly have a warm jacket nearby by the evening hours of Friday night. Jumping ahead to the weekend on Sunday night the Patriots game in Foxborough seasonably chilly nice night under clear skies nothing really extreme as far as cold but obviously it's a bundle up kind of an evening. Saturday's forecast clearly the coldest day of the weekend of the two weekend days. Daytime highs only 40s starting off at 28 Saturday morning a much better recovery by Sunday afternoon milder at 56 Monday looking good some question marks in the late Tuesday Wednesday time frame but for now we're putting in the potential for some rain there with temperatures in the mid 50s weekends not bad but clearly Sunday would be the milder day pretty cold on Saturday all right Tony thank you coming up next